Kate. All right, 20. Here we go. The ball on the 35 to be kicked off by Andy Stamp. Michigan will start the second half. Remember against Penn State last week now, the Wolverines came out storming and hung a touchdown up early on in the third quarter. Eric Williams is back there along with Russell Shaw. It is going to be Williams. That's not a very deep kick. It's up around the 14-yard line, and Williams finds some daylight and comes all the way out to the 30. And so they get pretty good field position to start. And stepping under quarterback is Brian Greasy, 6'3", 207 from Oral Gables, Florida. And he turns, hands the ball to Chris Howard. And you remember a year ago now, Brian Greasy stepped in when Dreisbach was injured and started uh, nine, nine games. games, right? The ball is on the just outside the 31-yard line where it is second down and nine. That was a different offensive team for Michigan, and this defense for Ohio State is a heck of a lot better team. To nothing in Buckeye. And Greasy's first pass drilled to Ty Street. He's wide open and gone for a touchdown. So the Michigan Wolverines, just like they did last week, come out in the third quarter and hang a touchdown. Well, Keith, somebody had to make a big play to get the momentum going, and the fire started for the Michigan Wolverines. Take a look from behind the defense. Three step, quick slant. Streets just catches it. Springs number 24, normally their best defensive back and maybe one of the best in the country, slipped. And Streets makes a big play. Had an opportunity last week and didn't come through with it for him. So the extra point try by Hamilton is good. And just that quickly. Things are kind of tightening up in Columbus at the horseshoe. Nine to seven now, the Buckeyes. Let's see if they can respond. And picked up by, I think, Tom Hoying way upfield. So look at from behind the defense, another look. Just a slant, which is always good. You don't have to have a lot of protection. Spring Helps slipped have, on the play, yeah. Helps to have that corner ball, man. Right? Oh, yeah. Spring, no question, Spring slipped on it. Put it on the 36-yard line, and it's first down. Joe Germain is the quarterback for Ohio State now. Nine to seven. Pearson is behind him with Calhoun. And it's Pearson. And a yard at the most. Jared Irons anchors the middle. He and William Carr, and there was just no room. Nothing in the middle, guys. Uh, in, uh, Mr. Irons and Mr. Carr are, are taking up a lot of room in there. Definitely was the game plan today for the Buckeyes is run inside. <laughs> They're definitely uh, nice. I know what you mean on that, <laughs> That ball's thrown right into the hands of uh, Jared Irons, and he dropped it. They're trying to run a slant across the middle, and uh, the intended receiver never touched it. Jared Irons almost had it. Here comes uh, Streets around the corner on a reverse. And he gets about seven yards. And back to throw middle with it. The pass is completed to Jeremy Tooman for a first down at the 39-yard line. He stepped into the shotgun now and put Williams over on this side and Greece's his pass. It's over the middle. It's caught by Williams on the ricochet and they get a first down out of it. So the ball was tipped at the line of scrimmage but fell into the arms of Clarence Williams. Goes out, throws underneath, a little too high. The pass intended for Marcus Knight. They got three wide outs. Back to throw, the pass is away, the pass complete to Williams. They're short of the first down. That's very good reaction out of the secondary to stop that play. And, uh, it was the two safeties involved, Kelly 34 and Moore 13. So it'll be fourth down and four for Michigan. Jermaine looking that way the whole time, throws to D. Miller and gets him. 
And that'll pick up about five or six yards, maybe seven. That's not bad. Pickoff class. On second down and four. Not much for Pearson. He may have lost. But Jared Irons again filled that hole. the 30-yard line, sacked by James Hall, number 56. Defensive end. He's being used a lot today in the wideout position. Ryan Greasy at quarterback, gives it to Chris Howard. Chris Howard is right at the first down marker. He may be, he may have his first down. He does. The opponent's turf, especially in this state. Howard bounces outside. A good run by Chris Howard. And all of a sudden, the Michigan offensive front opening some holes for people. I think it's Howard. Bounced to the outside and got something out of it. And out to the 46. This is Williams bouncing free. And it's Damon Moore who grabs him by the ankle and keeps him from maybe going all the way. The Ohio State 40 yard line. Give it to Williams. And he's close to the 35. Now they're finding four, five, six yards on first down runs. Third down and eight. Greasy coming off the snap almost fell down, throws it down in the middle of the field, and it's incomplete. He had to get rid of it in a hurry because Rob Kelly was all over it. just cleared the crossbar at the end of the third quarter. And it's now Michigan 10, Ohio State 9. We'll be back at this message after work from our ABC station. This is Pearson. Nothing doing. Ben Huff. Among the first to get there, along with Sam Sword. Got to throw it. Well, give it off to Killer. And he stumbles a bit as he starts to go with it and picks up two yards on the play. So they are now third and long again. This is Jermaine and somebody to catch it. My goodness, that was a bad throw. He missed Demetrius Stanley by five yards. Clint Copenhaver is the only man that could have caught that ball. He's playing for the other side. Copenhaver had it in his hands. Your ABC station. I'll call your cable operator. It's Chris Howard now. The deep back. The time is very precious for Ohio State. And Chris Howard just done them big. Running all the way out to the 35-yard line for a first down. Big play, Keith. It's, it, 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 it was a chess game going back and forth with field position. The defenses were dominating. His offense hasn't scored in many points. Second down, they give it to Howard, and again he finds daylight. And a big pickup. That'll leave him about a yard and a half or two short of another first down. And 5.40 to play in the ball game. Jump offside, he's going to free first down. Williams looking to go out. And he's tracked down finally. Oh, he's not deep. What a determined, dogged effort by Clarence Williams because Rob Kelly had a hold of him and couldn't put him away. Ty Howard got a piece of him and he just kept on churning and picked up about eight yards. One, two. Brought down by Greg Balasiri. So Chris Howard is having a big, big second half. This is Howard getting outside. And close to another first down. Right on the mark. Well, it was Bianca Batuka that shredded him a year ago. Yes. Now it's Chris Howard in the second half. Well, clock 
Ticking away, ticking away. 250. Greasy gives the ball back to Howard and just runs it right up the middle and picks up eight yards. Now they're in field goal range. A field goal will make it a four point game. Since 76, the Buckeyes brought a top 10 rank into the Michigan game in eight times. Eight times and have lost in seven. They'll have about a minute. Third down and four. This is Howard. Going to get it that way. Fickle penetrated and got enough of him to stop it. And now you get a timeout. Called by Ohio State. The ball game probably is right here. For both teams, for that matter. Ohio State needs to block it, obviously. Michigan makes it. They've got a four-point lead. That means the Buckeyes have to score a touchdown. It will be put down at the 29. It will be a 39-yard kick. It's on its way. And it's good. And so it is 13-9 Michigan with a minute and 19 seconds to play in the game. Ohio State will have to score a touchdown to pull it up. Unbelievable. Well, I told you that they put it up. Those five. And throws for Demetrius Stanley, who was covered like a blanket by Charles Woodson. Uh, that's not the guy to be throwing at. Get to it. He's got a minute and two left on the game clock. About time to make a play, though. He's got to have a first down. There's a pass thrown to Keller. And Keller will get a first down. And a penalty flag is thrown upfield by the back judge downfield. So there's a penalty coming. Whoa. Did he fumble it, or was he knocked down? They're going to call him down. It's a good throw. That's what I was talking about. They just need one big play. The ball looked like it was out before he was down. 30 seconds left in this one. First down on the 35 with 30 seconds to play. Remains pass to Stanley. Good. That stops the clock with 24 seconds to play. Got to come back for it. Second down and 10. Better look out. He throws it away. And now the penalty flag comes from the referee. And let's see what we've got. Do we have grounding? Very possibly. That'll break their back. Yeah. I think it's a good call. They chase him out. He lets it go. It's Stanley or nobody, and it is incomplete. Demetrius Stanley, surrounded by Wolverines, and he couldn't come down with it. And yes, teams do work on this. Offensively you yep. do, and defensively you work on this play. So you've got trips at the top. It is Stanley, Tillman, and Boston. Those three wide receivers. Rolling out. And there it goes. It's not going to reach the end zone. It is intercepted. It is Marcus Ray scoring the hook slide. And Michigan has defeated Ohio State 13-9. to 